Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Violet Baby Lock. And last episode we got ourselves a random shiny, which is absolutely insane. Um, our team is looking pretty destructive at the minute, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, we are going to get ourselves a new Pokemon. I am just going to go into the bag first, not the box. I'm going to go into the bag. In fact, you can see in our box there is a lovely shiny Dom fan. Uh, which, you know, is one shiny I don't have and one shiny that I actually really wanted for a very long time. So, yeah, I will definitely take it. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going into the West Paldean Sea. And we are going to get ourselves an encounter somewhere. Now, I do want to go over to these rocks and see if I can get us a Pokemon that is... Um, not going to be just a pure water type, because we already have a couple of those. Uh, let's just go up here and see what this item is. Uh, HP up. Now, I'm not sure if there are any Pokemon that I can get that aren't water type or aren't mostly water type, um, here. So, kind of, uh, you've got... Why is there bombardiers over here? Uh, what is that? That is a palafin. Or is it finazin? It might be finazin. I think this could be an interesting Pokemon to have. Just in the back. Because I think it has got relatively decent stats. And I know it's one Pokemon that I obviously cannot evolve. And it's level 40. Jeez Louise. Um, we're going to Thunder Wave it. It's going to miss its Aquatail, which is good. We are going to Thunder Wave. Because that Aquatail could do a lot of damage. I kind of want to go into Oops. But I think I'm going to risk one Aquatail. And I want to go for a Discharge. I don't think a Discharge will kill it. Oh, well, um, I guess we're not getting in the counter. I didn't think a Discharge would kill it. Honestly, oh, that is a good thing. That is a very good thing. Liquidation on our um, Weasel is a very good thing right there. So, yeah, I guess we're, we're not getting an encounter, which, you know, would have been excellent. But, hey-ho, that's, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's just see if there's anything interesting up here. I don't know if I can even get up here, if I'm honest. Oh, I can. Uh, is there anything up here? Anything around the back? Okay, I'm just going to slip down. Right, let's just go back to Cascarafa. Which, if I can find it, there it is. And we're going to do this battle. So, that's... Whew, some, some stuff. That's stuff. That's stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my golly gosh. I am going to heal. I am definitely going to heal because I know obviously I'll use one or two of our PP, which is not fantastic. And actually, I'm considering doing something quite interesting. I'm considering teaching Straws Trailblaze. Because I have got Trailblaze in my bag. Let's have just a look at my TMs. So Trailblaze is there, and I have got three Pokemon that can learn that. I'm considering Straws over Teddy Ursa. Although Teddy Ursa probably would benefit from it more. Yeah, let's actually go with Teddy Ursa. And let's get rid of... I think Baby Doll Eyes. I don't think Baby Doll Eyes are going to be super, super useful. So we can get rid of that, and let's just see if there's any other moves... Uh, Volt Switch, can anything learn it except that? No. Uh... Okay. So, didn't mean to do that. I think this is the team that we're going with. I quite like the idea of leaving with Straws to take some of the damage. Definitely. Now, I am thinking in the long term of getting a couple of Eviolites, although I'm going to limit myself to one Eviolite, because I think realistically having more than one is just too much. 
So let's head our way up. Let's go talk to Kofa's gym assistants. And yeah, let's just head on here. Oh, wow, there's two people here. Well now, Midnight. Well now, well now. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. What's this now? Is this kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo, I heard you're, like, way too good at battling, yeah? I'm not that good. Can't even evolve a Pokemon. Ha! You can't fool me that easily. No need to play humble, you hear? This young lady would be Rika. Now, I wasn't sure about Rika's gender, but obviously more androgynous, which I think is really interesting. So, yeah. That's me, Rika here, at your service. And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little, uh, farcical, shall we say. But like myself, she's a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance of it, anyway. Naturally, he's one of our Academy's esteemed students. Ooh. Yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really ratchet up the far farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. But not you, right, kiddo? See, see when you hit the champion's assessment. You show these gyms what you got. Best fortunes to you. Bye, Hassel. The man that walks like he's pooed himself. To be fair, he is quite an old man. Um, he could well be wearing diapers. Hello, woman. I would like to challenge Kofu, and he's already said I can, so let's do it. I wonder what would normally be your gym challenge if this whole situation didn't happen. Maybe climbing the waterfall, although there's no way to do that in this game, so probably not. Um. Ah, the wind blew my door shut. <laughs> that was a. Uh... Oh, that made me jump. Whoop 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 whoop! You go, girl. Oh man, Kofu, play with us! Come on. I'd be honoured if you try a new item for my restaurant menu as well. I need to battle this little boy. That's weird. That's weird. I need to battle, and I'm gonna smoke him. He might smoke me, I don't know. Step right up, I've been waiting for you. Thanks for your help, Reverend Porter Mar Marinada. You did a mighty fine job. And now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some kind of quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you when I'm out here. I love that he's got, like, four pool, pool noodles around his body. Also, like, how expensive do you reckon it is for him to get his hair done? Because it's so precise. Multiple colours. Or do you reckon those are, that's his legitimate hair colour and he's just really, really weird? Right, Veluza comes out first, which is not good for straws. Uh, this is really not, <laughs> not good for straws. Um, I was expecting like trio. So, I guess we're going to water pulse here. Just see how much it does. Next to nothing. Slash, that's not good. Critical hit as well. Now, if it's going to go for slash again, then going into blood would be a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a sensible idea. Because Slash realistically won't do a great deal of damage. Yeah, that does nothing. Good. Good. Right. Now we Discharge. That could do a lot. Okay, doesn't do enough. Doesn't do anywhere near enough. And we do take out the Veluza. That's good. That's what I wanted to see. 
Okay, what trio? I'm going to go into oops here. I think that is the most sensible of plays. I can't remember what his last Pokemon is. There's definitely a previous gen Pokemon, so I don't think there's any new gen Pokemon. But I can't remember what number three is. Now, realistically, Energy Ball will probably take this thing out because Wug Trio has got very bad defenses. Um, Wug Trio just generally isn't a great Pokemon, if I'm completely honest. Oh, wow, I didn't take it out. That's interesting. Uh, we are going to go for another Energy Ball, obviously. And that was a crit that time. Couldn't have been a crit the time before when it would have mattered. <laughs> right, what was the last Pokemon? Crab Omnibore. This could be bad. Crab Omnibore is fighting ice. Now, <laughs> that means... I'm in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> like... Um, I mean, I could definitely trailblaze it. Um, what is my highest defense? So forty nine, thirty six, fifty one. 49. Oh, 71 in defense, but you've already taken some damage. Uh, I think straws would be the sensible swatch to swap in here. And I am just going to check Crab on the stats because I need to know if I'm doing physical or special damage. Crabominable Smogon. Let's check that. Right. Okay, special. We need to use special attacks. So, confusion is going to be a good shout here. Now, we're going to see what this thing goes for. Now, obviously, I know... Oh, wow, that does nothing. And he's trying to use Slam. That's a normal type attack. I predict it's going to use Slam again. Will it, though? I kind of need to get Oops back in here. So I think I'm going to go with the heal. I'm going to go with the heal. Goes for Slam again. Right, Straw survived. Now, realistically, it slams again. And I really like the idea of getting Devon in here. Potentially scary facing. But I could also get Poo in here. Let's just check our defences. Right. Oh, let's just check the defence here. Right, 50. 49 defense. Uh, it's risky. It's very risky. Trying to consider what my options are. I'm going to go into poo. I'm going to go into poo. We have got now got another normal type, so if we lose poo, it's not the worst thing in the world. But 
Yeah, this this definitely looks like we are going to end up losing someone. Okay, the slam misses again, which is great. That is great, fantastic news. Um, I'm going to trailblaze here. That's the most sensible play that we've got. Oh, he's going to do something. He's going to do something crazy. What is he doing? Okay, that's a war type attack. Is that going to take me out? Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. That doesn't do anywhere near enough. Right, if this is a water type attack. That means it doesn't have a fighting type attack. What's Devon's defenses? Uh, it's not great. Um. I think. What's the way out of this? Because all I can see is that I have to give up Pooh. Then I can get Oops in to get Elite... Well, no, then I can get Devon in to get... Oh, I can get Oops in to get a Leech Seed in that case. Um... That Crab Hammer did a lot. I'm going to have to sacrifice Poo. I'm going to have to sacrifice Poo. Unless it goes for like another slam. No, it does go for the crown hammer. So that is the first death of the playthrough. Which is unfortunate. It's a critical hit this time. I'm glad it wasn't a critical hit last time. But I think that was the play I kind of had to make. And then... I think we have to go into oops here. Now, we haven't seen an ice type attack. And I'm going to hope in some way we are faster and this energy ball will kill. And I'm hoping it's not an ice type attack. We've seen slam, we've seen crab hammer, we haven't seen the other two attacks. It would probably help if I actually looked these up beforehand. Because then I would know. Okay, we're faster. So, hopefully this kills. Whew, there we go. Okay, okay. So, unfortunately, we did have to sacrifice for the good of the team. Um, but, that being said... Who was not a required Pokemon? Who was not needed? So, Volta the Loser, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I do say it so myself. Maybe. Maybe. But, oh dear. Right. Yeah, a loss of, as refreshing as the air in, in the morning market. Just like a hopeless little magic up to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. You got me good, I tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, you held on tight till the very last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to hand over the gym bash to you. And let's get a real good photo together. Um, using a pose that I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Is it a fishing pose? Oh, wow. That is, that's a cool pose. I like that. I do like that. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to the level 40 will be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask them to do things. Let me, know, let me throw this your way as an extra special bonus. Chilling water. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back up to the restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me again now, you hear? He's a nice guy. A weird looking guy, but a nice guy. So, yeah, that is gym number four completed. Uh, we've done two bases and three titans as well. So that is nine of 18. Which is halfway. Oh, Midnight. Oh, Midnight. Holla. Caught you just as you're finishing here, huh? Nice work. That puts you four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. 
Can't believe you're halfway through the gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. It makes me just want to challenge you to a battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take up the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time I've got to ask for a rain check. Gah. This is the worst time you ever. Sorry, Midnight. Forgive me. Right. So we need to go and sort out our team. Next episode. Next episode, we have got one more. We've got one more. We've got lots more to do. So we are just going to jump over because it's easier. But we have got the poison type uh, gym, Majiggy. And I think with that, we're going to build a slightly different team. So, first of all, let's go into our boxes. Thank you very much, Pooh, for your service. You uh, were great. And I'm sorry that you died. Now, for poison, obviously, Giraffe Rig will do quite well. Uh, I think Mudbray will look quite good. Salt Bay potentially would be quite nice. Bampy would be good, although it is a little bit low level. Uh, I'm going to bring in Chuck, because Chuck I think is great anyways. Um, obviously, Steel type is going to be good. I think that is a sensible team. Is it? I don't know. You know, I might have a little play. I'm going to um, try level up. Hannah a level or two, but I'm gonna have a little play in between episodes. I might actually take out but I think I'm gonna take out Devon and we're gonna put in Hermit. And then let's just check Fampy. What moves have you got? You have got Roll Up, Bulldo Bulldoze, Endure, and Slam. So Fampy is potentially another Pokemon that could go in here quite nicely. Um so I do need to do some considering and I but I think this is the team that I'm gonna stick with. I think this is a sensible team. But yeah, I'm going to finish off this episode here. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you soon.